Greetings, Spooky fans! Michael here, and today's video is 50 Pokemon moves that I came up with. Most will be variations of existing moves, but there will be some that are totally original. Most will be moves that I think could make sense in an actual game, but some of them will be very silly. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, pick up some merch at mjtvmerch.com, and let's dive in. First, I wanna talk about priority moves. Now, there are a lot of moves that have increased priority, but I wanna focus on the moves that are variations of Quick Attack, since Quick Attack was the original only priority move. Quick Attack has 40 base power, 100% accuracy, and plus one priority. The Quick Attack variations are Mach Punch, Aqua Jet, Bullet Punch, Ice Shard, Shadow Sneak, Accelerock, and Vacuum Wave. All of these moves are 40 base power, 100% accurate, and plus one priority. And all of them are physical moves except Vacuum Wave. I think that every type should have the opportunity for stab priority moves, so I came up with a quick attack variant for every single type that doesn't already have one. For bug type, I'd call it Zing Sting. Not my favorite of this bunch, but I think it's a solid name and it would be a physical move. For dark type, I'd call it sneak attack. Sucker punch is a plus one priority move already, but it is stronger than quick attack and only works if the opponent attacks. This would be a move that would go first regardless of the opponent's move choice. I chose the name sneak attack because it's basically another type of sucker punch, an underhanded attack the opponent doesn't see coming. It would be a physical move. For dragon type, I'd call it dragon dash. More than a third of all dragon moves are just dragon blank, so I think this works just fine. It would be a physical move. For electric, I would call it zip zap or zap zip, but the freaking partner Eevee and let's go already took that with zippy zap. Which side note does not count as a quick attack variant because it is not the same power and always does a critical hit. And it's only in let's go, like, no, I'm making an electric one. Instead, I am going with Volt Jolt. Since I can't use Zip Zap, I wanted another pair of similar sounding words. I think this could work as both physical or special, but I'll go ahead and say it's physical. For Fairy, I would call it Sparkle Sprint. The Fairy Z move is Twinkle Tackle, a name I've always enjoyed, so this is inspired by that. It would be physical since the Fairy type needs more physical moves. For the Fire type, I wanted to call it Flash Fire, a term for a sudden intense fire, However, that's already an ability. So instead, I'll call it Flash Flame, which makes it sound smaller and quicker. It would be a special move. For flying, I would call it Jet Stream, named after the fast flowing air currents. It would be a special move. For grass, I would call it Speedweed, simply because I just love that name, you know? It's fun to say. Speedweed. It would be a special move since I picture weeds rapidly growing and overwhelming the opponent. For ground, I would call it quicksand because it's sand that's quick. It would be a special move since I picture the Pokemon generating a pool of quicksand beneath the opponent from a distance. For poison, I would call it poison dart, like the ones shot from a blowgun or a tranquilizer gun. Since the idea is that the Pokemon would fire the dart from a distance, this would be a special move. And finally for Psychic, I would call it Impulse. Psychic moves often have to do with the mind, so if the Pokemon is acting on an impulse, they'd be moving fast. I think this one would be physical, since the Psychic type needs more physical moves. Quick side note before we move on to the next segment, I wanna take a moment to talk about Accelerock. Accelerock is the rock type quick attack variant, but it's actually a signature move for Midday and Dusk Lycanroc. Later in this video, I'll be coming up with move variants for types that already have one because the existing one is is a signature move, but I'm not doing that for Accelerock. That's because I believe Accelerock is a signature move that could very easily just be given to other Pokemon. Like, why can't other Pokemon accelerate a rock? This has happened plenty of times before. Leaf Blade used to be Sceptile's signature move and then it was given to other Pokemon. Heck, even a Quick Attack variant used to be a signature move, Mach Punch for Hitmonchan in Gen 2, but then it was expanded outward. I'm not coming up with an alternate Accelerock because like I said, why can't anyone just accelerate a rock? Another move that I wanna make more variations of is Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry was introduced in Gen 6 and it's an ice type attack that is also super effective against water type Pokemon. I love the concept of moves that are super effective against types that they normally are not. I just think it's really interesting. 
In fact, I came up with a move just like that when I was a kid, years before freeze dry was ever introduced. That move was Weed Whacker, a steel type move also super effective against grass types. It was the signature move of Moran, the steel psychic lawnmower Pokemon that I came up with when I was a kid. I wanted to come up with some more. So here's some other Pokemon attacks that would be super effective against types that they normally are not. Blackout would be a dark type move super effective against electric Pokemon. I'm picturing it as a special move since its premise is basically sapping the power and light from everything in the vicinity. Pesticide would be a poison type move super effective against bug type Pokemon. Oddly enough, poison was actually super effective against bug in gen one. So I think some Kanto Pokemon should get it as a nod to days gone by. It would be a special move since they'd be spraying the poisonous chemicals. Vacuum would be a flying type move super effective on fire type Pokemon. The idea is that the user sucks the air away from the area surrounding the Pokemon, thus creating a vacuum. Fires need oxygen to burn, so by suffocating the flames, they are extinguished. It would be a special move since the user would be manipulating the air from a distance. Warrior's Eye would be a fighting type move super effective on dragon type Pokemon. My idea is that by utilizing the skill of a dragon slaying warrior, the user can target the dragon's weak points where their scaly armor isn't as strong it would be a physical move. Electromagnet would be an electric move super effective against steel types. Metal is very good at conducting electricity, so good that it can be converted into a magnet if electricity flows through it in the right way. And honestly, I think it's odd that steel was never weak to electric in the first place. This would be a special move. Next, I wanna talk about super powerful attacks that are so strong that there's some kind of drawback for the user. Specifically, I wanna discuss variations of Hyper Beam and Overheat. Hyper Beam is so strong, 150 base power, that it requires the user to recharge on the turn after it is used. Its variations are Hydro Cannon, Frenzy Plant, Blast Burn, Rock Wrecker, Giga Impact, and Roar of Time. Other moves that require recharge but aren't technically variants due to having differing powers or accuracies are Prismatic Laser, Eterna Beam, and Meteor Assault. Overheat is also very strong, and its drawback is instead that the user's special attack drops by two stages immediately after usage. It has weaker power though, 130 now and 140 before Gen 6. But to me, that lower power makes a lot of sense. The special attack drop can be circumvented by using a white herb or by switching the Pokemon out. Meanwhile, a recharging Pokemon has to recharge and there's nothing you can do about it unless the attack ended the battle. The overheat variants are Draco Meteor, Leaf Storm, Floor Cannon, and Psycho Boost. Well, technically Psycho Boost is not still a variation because all the other ones had their power drop in Gen 6 and Psycho Boost did not, but like, who cares? It's basically the same. I am talking about these two categories of moves together because their names are interchangeable. If you swapped the power and effects of Frenzy Plant and Leaf Storm, both would still make sense because both names convey a lot of plant or just in general, a very large amount of or very powerful attack of that particular element. The following will be a list of moves that I came up with that could function as either Hyper Beam or Overheat variants, since all of their names are supposed to convey massive power. I'll be giving one to every single type that does not currently have a Hyper Beam or Overheat variant, plus some types whose current variants are exclusively signature moves. For the bug type, I would call it Super Swarm. Bugs are always their most powerful in large groups, so it makes sense for the new strongest bug move, excluding Z and Max moves, to make use of their strength in numbers. Also, I like the name because it's a pun of Super Storm. This would be a physical move, so if it were an overheat variant, it would harshly lower the user's attack instead of special attack. For dark type, I would call it Sinister Force. It just sounds powerful and ominous. I think it could go either way for physical or special. Next up is Dragon, which I don't have to cover since while Eternum Beam and Roar of Time are signature moves, Draco Meteor is not. It's widely accessible, but I'm still covering it because I want to. So instead, this would be my Dragon type Hyper Beam variant that a lot of Pokemon can learn. This move would be Mythic Storm. Surprisingly, none of the existing dragon moves acknowledge dragon's position as mythical creatures, and I think a move should fix that. It would definitely be a special move. For electric type, I would call it Power Surge. 
Power surges are large increases in voltage that can damage devices if they're too powerful. That seems like the perfect name for an electric move that is so strong that the user either has to rest or do less damage subsequently. I think it would definitely be a special move. For Fairy, which I'm covering since Fleur Cannon is a signature move, I would call it Blinding Light. Lots of Fairy moves have something to do with light, like Dazzling Gleam, Twinkle Tackle, and Moonlight. Blinding Light tells you that this particular light is on another level of bright and powerful. It is definitely a special move. For Fighting, which I'm covering since Meteor Assault is a signature move, I would call it Supreme Smash. I wanted to have this one include the word Smash as a nod to All Might's attacks, and Supreme is a nice word to toss in front for some alliteration. Clearly, this would be a physical move. For flying, I would call it Tornado Horde. Flying already has the move Hurricane, and I like the idea of more flying moves referencing severe weather. I think sending multiple tornadoes at once implies much more power, especially since the dragon move Twister already exists. And this would definitely be a special move. For Ghost, I'd call it Haunted Hammer. Ghost was physical prior to the physical special split, so I thought making this move physical would make a lot of sense. I picked Hammer because it has a nice alliteration with Haunted. For Ground, I'd call it Epicenter Slam. The epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface vertically above the focus of an earthquake, and my idea for this move is that it's so powerful, the point of impact becomes the epicenter of an earthquake. This one is physical. For Ice, I'd call it Whiteout. A whiteout is a blizzard that is so intense that it reduces visibility to basically zero. This is basically blizzard, but more intense, so it is a special move. For poison, I'd call it smog squall. A squall is a sudden and violent gust of wind, and a squall of poisonous gas would definitely be a very powerful poison move. This is clearly a special attack. I'll be covering the psychic type since both Prismatic Laser and Psycho Boost are signature moves, so I think a more widely accessible, really powerful psychic move would be called Brain Blast. I'm kidding. It would actually be Neuron Bomb. Neurons are brain cells, of course, and using their power to launch bombs sounds super powerful, but also very taxing on the user. It would definitely be a special attack. Finally, for this category is steel, and I would call it Titan Charge. Titanium is one of the hardest metals, but it's a bit much to say, so I'm shortening it to just Titan, which also sounds very cool. The idea is that the user would harden their body as much as possible, then charge into the target. It would be a physical move. Next, let's talk about binding moves. Moves that do damage, but then continue to do damage and trap the target on the field for the next several turns. They vary in power and accuracy, so they're not all variations of each other, but they all do basically the same thing. Those moves are Bind, Clamp, Fire Spin, Infestation, Magma Storm, Sand Tomb, Snap Trap, Thunder Cage, Whirlpool, and Wrap. Also, G-Max Centiferno and G-Max Sandblast, but those don't really matter as much. Hello, uh, Michael here while watching through this video to make sure it was all good to post. And I am just now learning that Snap Trap is a grass type move, which is ridiculous because it looks like it uses a metal bear trap. Like what, how is this a grass type move? Anyways, the rest of these items, I go under the assumption that Snap Trap is a steel type move. So keep that in mind. Don't worry, I still made both a grass and a steel type binding move, but I just needed to clarify that before we move on. Okay, back to past me. So I made up some binding moves for the types that don't have any yet. For dark, I'd call it disorient. The idea is that by disorienting the target with darkness, they can't find their way out of the battle and will also trip over some stuff and hurt themselves in the process. This would be a special move. For dragon, I would call it lair trap, referencing a dragon's lair. I think this would be special since the Pokemon would be generating a layer of energy. For Electric, which I'm mentioning since Thunder Cage is a signature move, I'd call it Wire Tie. This would be a physical move since they'd be physically tying down the opponent with electrically charged wires. For Fairy, I'd call it Mist Veil. The mist is designed to both hurt them and prevent them from finding their way out. It would be a special move. For Fighting, I'd call it Headlock, which is pretty self-explanatory. Clearly, it would be a physical move. For flying, I'd call it Cyclone. Whirlpool, Fire Spin, and Sand Tomb are all binding moves that have to do with creating a vortex. 
It's honestly surprising that it hasn't been done with just plain air yet. Well, they have made an air vortex move, that being whirlwind, but it's not even a flying type move. And also it doesn't trap the target it actually does the opposite. For Ghost, I'd call it Phantom Grasp. It'd be a physical move, and I just like the sound of the name and the image of ghostly haunted tendrils wrapping up the target. For Grass, I'd call it Vine Bind. I know Bind is already a binding move, but Vine and Bind almost rhyme, and I think they just sound so good together, so I really want this to be the name. This would be a physical move since they'd be tying down or wrapping up the target with vines. For ice, I'd call it snow vortex, basically fire spin with snow instead. Strangely, this would only be the second ice type move to feature the word snow. The only other one so far is powder snow. For poison, I would call it toxic cloud. Like with disorient and mist veil, the Pokemon can't find its way out and it'll be breathing toxic fumes at the same time. For Psychic, I'd call it Vertigo. It's much like the dark type Disorient, but with a different name. It would also be a special move. For Rock, I could call it Rock Tomb, like Sand Tomb, but Rock Tomb is already a move that doesn't actually trap the target. Instead, I'm going with Stone Press, as a reference to how Giles Corey was pressed to death by stones during the Salem Witch Trials. Kinda dark. I know, but worry not, the user would stop the pressing long before the target Pokemon was actually squashed to death. Also, have you seen Continental Crush the Z-move? No, a couple stones, they're gonna be fine. Also, if it wasn't obvious, it's a physical move. And finally is Steel since Snap Trap is a signature move. Now I should say that I think Snap Trap is a great concept for a Steel type binding move. When I first tried to think of one, I thought of a Bear Trap, but then that's what Galarian Stunfisk literally is, so it makes sense that it has a move based on that. That doesn't really work as well for other Pokemon. So instead, I'll go with a move based on another spiky metal trapping device, Iron Maiden. Not the band, but the human-sized cabinet filled with spikes used as a torture device. Wow, this one and the rock one got kinda dark. Sorry kiddos, history's rough. And finally, I'll be going over moves that are not variations of existing moves. Well, they might be. It's more like I came up with a general concept, not specifically as a variation of an existing move, but then I might have selected its power and maybe its effect from an existing move. First off, I wanna make a physical fairy move since I don't think there's enough of those. One that I think would be fun is Mist Fist. I picture it as the signature move of the first fairy fighting Pokemon that then gets expanded to other Pokemon later. I think it would be somewhere in the 75 to 85 base power range like Thunder Punch or Sky Uppercut. Next, I wanna make a solidly powerful physical rock type move that is 100% accurate. As of now, the only damaging rock attacks that are 100% accurate are Ancient Power, Power Gem, Smackdown, and Accelerock. Of these four, the two physical ones are quite weak. I think a cool physical rock move to add that could be 100% accurate without overtaking Rock Slide in power would be Stone Claw. It functions like Shadow Claw, 70 base power, 100% accurate, higher than normal chance to crit. I feel like it's a logical move to make since a Pokemon encasing their claws in sharp stones seems like a logical attack tactic. Next, I wanna come up with a water type move since I haven't come up with any water moves in this entire video. And since water has plenty of damaging moves already, I'm gonna make a non-damaging one. This move would be Cloud Cover. The Pokemon surrounds itself with clouds, which are of course made of water vapor, and it boosts its evasion. Now I know, we don't need any more moves that boost evasion. Nobody likes those, unless you're the one using them. But also, we don't really need any more water type moves either, okay? It was just an inclusionary exercise but I'm not making any normal attacks because we definitely have too many normal moves. Next, I wanna come up with a move that can cause a status condition not normally associated with its type. Scald and Scorching Sands are two attacks that are water and ground type, normally nothing to do with fire, but they can cause a burn. I also think it would make a lot of sense to have a steel type move that can cause a burn. After all, I'm pretty sure we've all personally experienced this by getting into a car that's been sitting out in the sun and then accidentally touching the seatbelt buckle. 
and really regretting it. I'd call this move Forge Blade, with the idea being it's a blade just pulled out of a fiery hot forge. And it of course is a physical move. Next, I wanna come up with a really good, strong physical electric move that a lot of different Pokemon can learn. Because right now, the best physical electric moves are only accessible on certain specific Pokemon, like Zing Zap or Bolt Beak. I propose we add Lightning Slice, where the user, as you might imagine, creates a blade of electricity. It would essentially be an electric type leaf blade. 90 base power, 100% accurate, and a high crit ratio. Next, I wanna talk about Spider-Man. He is one of the most popular superheroes in the entire world. And one of his main combat techniques is shooting out a web string, attaching it to someone, then swinging them around and slamming them into someone else or a wall or the ground or whatever. However, all the existing web related moves, string shot, spider web, and sticky web, are status moves that do not do damage. I think there should be a damaging bug type attack inspired by Spider-Man, where the Pokemon shoots out a web string, attaches it to the target, then whips them around and slams them into the ground. I think a good name for it would simply be Web Sling. I think this would be a really good physical move with 90 base power, since all the other 90 base power bug moves are either special, the signature move attack order, or the first turn only first impression. For its effect, I think it would have a 10% chance to lower the target's speed, since both String Shot and Sticky Web deal with lowering speed. And for the final move of this video, I wanna make a special fighting type attack, since there are so few, and the ones that exist are either known by very few Pokemon, like Aura Sphere, or they never hit the target, like Focus Blast. Why is it called Focus Blast if you can never hit them? I think a cool special fighting attack would be Concussive Force. The idea is that the user punches the air in front of them so hard that it generates a shockwave that can hit the user from a distance. I think a base power of around 85 would make sense and maybe you could have a chance to make the opponent flinch. I don't know about you, but if someone punched at me from the other side of the room and then I still felt an impact, I would probably flinch. So there we have it, 50 Pokemon moves that I came up with. Let me know down in the comments below which ones were your favorite and also some Pokemon moves that you came up with. I think that'd be fun to look at. But thank you so much for watching. With an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon for helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you wanna help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. Also, if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, we get hands. Gotta catch them all.